The Charger drive about to get going. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. From the 50, here's Herbert. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Kyle Van Noy able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. And to the 46, he goes in no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Sanchez as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And yeah, this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. On second down, there's the option going left. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for a second, but the daylight quickly snuffed down. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Able to slither by, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 33 and a first. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice, steady gain. The last run got six. Now second and four. Here's Herbert. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. 
Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 30. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. He's brought down there by Kenny Moore. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Yannick Ngakwe picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And the Colts are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving it. shake off the interception he'll look to throw and incomplete on the deep ball he's had trouble finding open receivers all game cd and that's because really there hasn't been many this defense has been all over them yeah they're one of the better defenses in the league and every time i talk to someone around the nfl they all say the exact same thing they're so fundamentally sound it's hard to execute against them and he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action so they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So third down, but you got to think they'd like to get closer, even in a dome with good kicking conditions for a possible field goal. On the give, this is their fullback. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Third and one, who are you going to call? Not the scat back. You go with the big man, hand him the ball, and let him get upfield and pick up a first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Herbert. Well, this is caught by Williams. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 19. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. This will be caught just inside the 10. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. He'll get the carry. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second down and goal, Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Gerald Everett, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. 
And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they'd been down there. They'd been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he is not going to make it. So they won't be able to move this lead up to a touchdown as it'll remain a five-point ball game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Fourth quarter, holding on to a lead. Fullback carry, three or four yards. I guess that's what you're looking for. And it just brings back memories for me because I remember my coaches in this situation. I remember one time my head coach into his headset telling the offensive coordinator, I want the big boy carrying the ball. And that's what you have in this spot. Him covering up on the ball, taking care of it, and grinding out yardage. Now a toss here, short side. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. shot here on the ground and he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Well, someone's been having a good game so far and you know something a lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down didn't they? They did indeed he delivered the tough yards. So here's a first and ten at the 38. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. here 108 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game no doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here Charles the lead in the fourth quarter this is when coaches that have a reliable running game they breathe a little easier on the sideline yeah they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game 
That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A great play there. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chargers will add to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive. And now a conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. to a knee and that should just about write it into this one what a finish in this one charles you know this group they come in they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap they get the late score they get the victory and that flight home it's going to be a little sweeter after this one and brandon just like you i was fired up for that last sequence how about that wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game winning drive big time moment no one shied away from it they tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So for the Chargers, they climb to 6-2 and two on the year as they close in on the midpoint of this 17-game schedule. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they fall a game under the 500 mark at three and four through seven games. And they'll be at home for one next week as the ball 